Welcome middle schoolers. Today I'm going to show you how to use the virtual microscope and you can just uh, use this to learn how to use a microscope and also uh, get a chance to look at a few different slides. So the virtual microscope I'm using can be found here. Okay, I'll drop this in the description. Uh, so the NC Community College is one. I really like this one. It's really easy to use. You can use it on your iPhone or you can just launch it on your computer. So let's go ahead and launch and let's take a look. So they have a whole guide and they can, uh, they'll tell you how to use it. So you can click through and choose things like, okay, how do I use the different parts. You can click through the chapters. They've got little pages. It talks about objective lenses. They have even got um, an oil lens option. It tells you how to use that. It explains how to care for the microscope. And then you can take a look at the terminology. They get really uh, in detail here, more than I'm going to ask you to know in middle school. So for now, let's just explore Let's take a look at a few slides, okay? So you can open the slide box and pick some out. So let's look at some plant slides. We'll start with some onion root. Okay, uh, you can see that it's not in focus, so you should start with the course adjustment and get it where you want it, okay? And then you can use the fine focus to make that image really sharp. Okay, if you want to take a closer look, you just go up through the objectives. Again, you might have to mess with the fine focus a little bit to get it exactly how you want. You can also adjust the amount of light that's coming through. And at this point, it says that you have to switch to um, immersion oil. You can't look using the highest power objective without the oil. It's not going to do you any good. So it's going to prompt you to add immersion oil and that's over here. And now if you look you can really see the DNA and the nucleus. Those chromosomes have condensed together. So that's really cool. You can see a lot with this little microscope. Uh, and then in the lab you would go back down to your Oops, sorry. Step back down to your, you have to wipe it off. And then I'm glad they make you do that. And then once you've wiped it off, you can step back down to the lowest objective, remove the slide. And now you can look at some other slides if you want. So go ahead and for this assignment, I'm going to have you guys explore three different slides. You're going to create drawings of what you're seeing. I want you to also write down the magnification of the drawing and write a quick one to two sentence description of what you're noticing on the slide. If you know what something is in the drawing, label it. If you're not sure, you don't have to label it yet. We will get there.